metals that were here were fairly small, but the metal is so thin, when the metal is so thin that it burns away. So well, you end up burning a much larger hole, and I ended up with this crescent that you see here. Um, it starts here and goes all the way up there. I had to do that full crescent before it was stable enough to, you know, fill up and, and be a solid metal piece. The idea here is, is that we want solid metal and we don't want any holes because moisture gets behind there and will lift both the, the, the skin coat that we put on here um, and the paint that's on it and you end up with rust bubbles. You'll see those little bumps. Those are rust bubbles because it's rusted from the back side. Most rust, by the way, is not... No. Okay, just kidding. Um, most <laughs> rust is, comes from the inside out. And that's because on cars like this, there's bare metal on the back side. And it sits down here, there's a seam down here where they fold this metal over and it sits in this seam, causes the seam to go fat, and the door rots away right down in here. Mm. And up here, what happened, this time it rusted from the outside in because the dirt got between the trim and this metal sat there and became a moisture trap and caused this to rust out. So what we have to do on this door to finish it up, we have to do we have to grind this down so it's reasonably flat? And you guys have been working with this stuff now for a while, so you'll be able to do that. We want to take this window out, and we want to finish cleaning this up in here. Uh, over here, let's take a look at this door. We're not <coughs> on this door is the same thing. And whoever worked on it last, we need to grind this out. We've got to grind all of this rust out. And there, you might have to use a different, or sand it out, grind it out, whatever. And you might have to use a different tool to get that out. And then, unfortunately, we don't have an easy way to get in there That'd be good, yeah. to be able to pound this out. So we may have to leave it the way it is and put a skin coat on that. I'd like to pound it out if I could, but I don't think we're going to be able to. We also have some damage down here that has to be knocked out, but we'll be able to get in there and do that. So I, we may start talking, well actually we'll do that on this door, we'll talk about how to use a hammer and dolly to work that dent out. It's not hard, it's just time consuming, which is why we have a gazillion people in the class to do this. So we'll get some uh, hammers and dollies out and we'll start working on that. Let me show you something on the car too that we're going to have to work on as well. And I may have to make a custom dolly. It's closed now. It's closed now. <laughs> um, if you go to the car, one of the things that I'm most concerned about, we can get somebody out here sanding on this as well. But what I'm most concerned about is right here. You run your hand here, you'll feel a nice arc. Actually, uh, let me do this with a light, and we'll actually be able to see we'll the light. See. Let there be light, Sherman. Okay. Well, I'm just. I got people that are sending me weird messages. <laughs> well, oh, right. look at the you can see it now. Yeah. Oh, now the light comes on. It's better without. But anyway, it was better yeah. without. And you can see oh, this man. is this all... has a, a bruise <clears throat> on it that, that goes from here all the way, all the way to here. <clears throat> now, what's cool about this is once we open the trunk up, you can get in here. Well, we're changing so, that part, though. Pardon? We're changing that piece. Just the back piece. Just the back. No, we're Just cutting it corner. off right about oh. here. Oh. Yeah, that's here. We're not here. taking and replacing this whole piece. Oh. So what we're going to have to do here is pound this out. And we do that with a hammer and dolly. And this will come out. This is actually, what's nice about this yeah. is it really doesn't have a lot of creases on it. So because it doesn't have a lot of creases, it'll come out pretty easily. Right? 
You, you had this look of trepidation. No, I stop <laughs> calling me out. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I, I look up and everybody's like dense. really interested and you're there going, and I'm like, okay, I wonder what I did wrong. That's much better. Look at that smile you have. Well, it actually, because it's hard to see when the light's on it. Now I can totally see exactly what you're talking it's about. Yeah. Your best yeah. Here, it's just ridiculously obvious. Yeah, I, I mean, cut, there's a, cut, cut, yeah, cut. yep. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, what could have caused that? So, oh, you know, it's, it's really bad. So we're going to have to straighten this. Now, down here where it's really fucked up, we're not going to straighten this. This metal, when you see it like this, when you see metal that looks like this, that metal is heavily distorted. And the amount of work that it's going to take to make it right again, you have to actually shrink it, which you have to heat the metal up red hot, and you use the, the pointy end of the hammer to create these little dents and then you hammer it flat and you work the metal while it's hot until you've shrunk the metal back into its original shape and it takes forever. So we're going to cut this panel off back in here somewhere and we're going to replace this whole piece. Make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. We're not going to do that tonight. We're going to work on other things. But so, they're not but. Button. So we can get in here, we can keep sanding on this, we can sand this down, but Roof. we do have to work on this metal. And we can start by doing one of the doors to get a feel for it. And the other thing we can do... But wait, there's more! Wait, there's more. Oh, more. there's that light again. <laughs> light on the building. So, Bobby will be in charge of this bit. The welding? Yes. And he can, again, there's <clears throat> enough work here that we can all, I gotta go get a body hammer, I'll be right back.